Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Cube Farmer. And this was developed and published by Colossus Game Studios and is usually available for £4.19 but as of this recording is on sale for £2.09 so always be checking them cheeky sales. Anyway, we play as farmer John McCube whose job it is to move cubes on a farm to grow stuff puzzle style. It ain't much but it's honest work. But yeah, that's basically it. Move cubes, grow stuff, get some easy achievements. Tidy, mate. Of course, we've all played this type of game before, but this was genuinely quite enjoyable, and some of the later levels were quite the challenge to figure out. So what I've done for you in this guide is put the written solution on screen, as well as show you the visual side of it, so you've got the best of both worlds. Are I not nice? As for achievements, you'll get the majority, basically just for completing all 40 levels. There are a few miscellaneous ones to look out for, though on level 3 and level 8 you've got to wait uh, just for a little bit until you see a stingray and then a shark respectively in each level. And we've got to just move one wrong cube, nothing really to worry about though. But you can get this done in around 25 to 30 minutes, so with that being said then, let's do it! And of course there's not going to be much commentary since everything's going to be on the screen for you. We'll select the first rebel. And here's the first achievement we're going to get. First of all, to do it, uh, now it's easier if you use it on the D-pad, but you'll have to press down on the D-pad and then A, and then up on the D-pad and then A. You can move the camera about as well if you wish, which we'll do a couple of times. But that is how you do this game then. So in the direction you want to go, so for level one, you go right and then press A and then down and then press A. Obviously, what we have to do is get the water in the hole, you know, water style. And obviously, as you can see in the top left hand corner, that is where I've put the written solution. So when it says there, like rotate camera left and rotate camera right, what I meant is move the um, move the camera stick. So move the right stick to the left or to the right. So for this one, you would um, move the right stick to the left. For this one, again, you will move the right stick to the left ever so slightly. You don't have to do a big full circle. You're just going to move it ever so slightly because it can be kind of disorientating and confusing. That's why you need it sort of um, directly sort of looking at it so you know where, uh, where what you're doing and where you're going. For this one, we're just wait waiting for that. It's not a stingray. It's a, it's a manta ray. So, yeah, I got that one wrong, but that's all we got to do. As soon as it swims past, you can crack on with the level. So, yeah, so again, whenever it says rotate camera left or right, I just mean move the right stick to the left or the right stick to the right just a little bit. Um, again, that took me a while to figure out in all fairness, because it can sometimes, especially again in the later levels, it can sometimes be a little bit disorientating. So for now, again, rotate camera left. That's what you would do is move it to the left a bit so that you are looking in the direction. So then you can start going down and then left and then left. So you'll see, you'll see exactly what I mean. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it for the time being, guys. You just crack on just for a little merry second. And I shall return when there's stuff to talk about. Mmm, watermelons. Can't trust a pig when watermelons, you know. <laughs> So then, we're going to get two achievements on this level. The first one, we are going to wait for a little bit once again, just until um, Sharky McSharkface swims on by and get us that achievement. Plus, if you are, again, uh, following the solutions on screen, you will 
be able to get the shortcut achievement for finishing level 8 with less movements. So obviously, as you can see, is the blue bar at the top right there. So um, yeah, just follow the movements. Obviously, if I don't have rotate camera left or rotate camera right, obviously you can just follow it without having to move the camera at all. And then jobs good, mate. So you're going to get a couple of achievements on this level. Um, so you should have had the um, It Was Easy in 10 Islands achievement there for finishing level 10, finishing level 10 with less movements. For this one, you will, uh, there's no a teleporter one now. So again, rotate the camera slightly to the right, or move the right stick to the right slightly. Then following the guide, or the written solution on screen here, once you go through the teleporter, you will get the teleporting achievement. And then once you finish the level, you will also get the A Lot of Birds achievement for carrots and stuff. And uh, there's birds in the level, there's birds in every level, but we get it this level for some reason. Anyway, carry on, carry on.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, just to complicate things, we have two boxes, two cubes. So we get um, John McCube Farmer's twin right here. Um, but again, like I said, j you're literally just still following everything on screen um, or the written solution on screen. So try not to look at the two cubes while you're following the um, written solution. Otherwise, it may just confuse you like it did to me many, many times. But uh, yeah, again, just as long as you're following the written uh, written solutions on screen, you'll have near but a bother but a problem.
And there it is then, guys and gals. Level 40 complete. You should now have all achievements and another cheeky easy 1,000 for the win. So thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, I do hope this uh, you, you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe uh, and share with a friend as well if, um, if it did help. Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought, as per usual. A uh, big shout-out to all my uh, Patreon supporters and YouTube members, absolute legends of the entirety of the universe. And, well, I guess I'll see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big old chunky love.